Jeez, what the heck is an isotope? I don't know. Hi, today I'm going to be your teacher. I'm Mr. Davenport, and I'm going to teach you what an isotope is so that you don't get the word isotope mixed up with all those other chemistry terms such as ions. Hey, listen, they both start with an I, so why do people get them mixed up? Well, I'm going to show you exactly what an isotope is, and you'll never forget this. The best place to start if you're going to understand what an isotope is is to understand this term, and that term is mass number. What is mass number? Well, mass number is simply the mass of an atom's nucleus. Mass number depends on a couple of particles, and those are the particles, the only particles that are found in the nucleus of the atom, and those are protons, and we know that protons have a positive charge, so we can label that, and neutrons. They're both found in the nucleus of an atom. And both of these particles have one very important thing in common, and that is that they both have a mass of one. We don't care about the electrons because the electrons are so tiny that they are insignificant to the mass of the atom. All of the mass of the atom is located in that very tiny, very dense nucleus where the protons and neutrons are located. You know, as far as an atom goes, electrons are sort of like a flea sitting on the back of an elephant. The fact that the flea is there really makes no significant difference in the mass of that particular elephant. Well, likewise, the electrons in an atom are so tiny, hey, an electron is like 1 1,832nd of the mass of a proton or a neutron. So it's really insignificant to the mass of the atom. So when we talk about the mass of the atom, we're talking about the mass of the nucleus. And when we're talking about the mass of the nucleus, we're talking about the protons and neutrons, each of which has a mass of one. So if we want to know the mass of the nucleus, all we have to do is count the protons and the neutrons in the nucleus. It's that easy. So let's continue from there. What is an isotope? By definition, an isotope is atoms of the same element that have different mass numbers. So let's figure out why they have to have different mass numbers or how they get different mass numbers. Let's take a look at this atom. And we can ask ourselves what atom is this? And we look at the nucleus. We know that it has an atomic number of 10. It has 10 protons in its nucleus. And so if we look on the periodic table, we find that the atom that has atomic number of 10, 10 protons in its nucleus, is neon. So we can identify this atom, the symbol for which is neon, N-E. Well, the symbol is N-E. And we know that the atomic number is 10 because it has 10 protons in its nucleus. So we can write the protons, the atomic number, down next to this symbol in E. Now if we also look at this nucleus we can see that it has in it not just 10 protons but also in this case 9 neutrons. The mass of the nucleus of this atom can be found by adding the protons and the neutrons. And so if there are 19 particles in this nucleus, that means that the mass of the nucleus is 19. And we can write that down as a superscript on the upper left side of this neon symbol. So here's our isotopic symbol for neon. It has an atomic number of 10 written in the lower left and a mass number of 19 written in the upper left as a superscript. Remember that that 19 is the mass number. It's the total of the protons and neutrons in the nucleus. Well, let's, like, let's take a look at another neon atom. It looks the same. It has 10 protons in the nucleus. It has 10 electrons out there in the energy levels. But it also has 8 neutrons in its nucleus. Well, we know it's neon. Why? Because again, it has 10 protons in its nucleus. And we can write that 10 down. The atomic number is 10. And again, we wrote it to the left in this isotopic symbol. What is the mass number of this atom? Well, we add the protons and neutrons. And the mass number of this atom is 18. 
So here we have two neon atoms. They have the same atomic number, but they have different mass numbers, and that's what makes them isotopes of each other. Isotopes of neon. And there are a lot of different isotopes of neon. Here's another one. We take a look at this atom. We know it's neon. Obviously, it has 10 protons in its nucleus. So we write that atomic number down. We also see that it also has seven neutrons in its nucleus, so when we add those together, we get a mass number for the nucleus of 17. And this is the isotopic symbol for neon 17. We actually have three isotopes of neon on this screen, neon 19, neon 18, and neon 17. They are all atoms of neon because they all have the same atomic number. They all have atomic number of 10. Why? Because they, each one of them have 10 protons in the nucleus. However, they differ in atomic mass, in mass number. They differ in mass number because each one has a different number of neutrons in the nucleus. These are three isotopes of neon. Well, now we'll take a few minutes and we'll talk about some isotopes of hydrogen, the most common element in the universe, hydrogen. And there are different isotopes of hydrogen. We're going to talk about three of them. Here's an atom. You can see it has one proton in its nucleus. Obviously, that gives an atomic number of one. And the element that has an atomic number of one is hydrogen. Well, if we want to write this as an isotopic symbol, we can again include the atomic number in the lower left and the mass number in the upper left. What's the mass number of this atom? Well, since there's only one particle in the nucleus and the mass number is the sum of all the particles in the nucleus, the mass number is simply going to be 1. There you go. And this is one of the isotopes of hydrogen. Here's another isotope of hydrogen. You can see it is hydrogen because it has an atomic number of 1 one particle is a proton. That's what gives it the atomic number of one. But it has a second particle in the nucleus and that is a neutron. And so if we add up the total particles in the nucleus we get two particles in the nucleus and that gives us a mass number of two. So we have hydrogen one and hydrogen two. That's how you refer to them. The, the isotopic symbols you can see here both have the same atomic number. They differ only in mass number. That's why they're isotopes of each other. Here's a third isotope of hydrogen. You notice that like the other atoms of hydrogen, it has one proton in the nucleus, giving it an atomic number of one. But in this case, now it has not one neutron, but a two neutrons in the nucleus. And so if we add up all the particles in the nucleus, we get a total of three. So the mass number here is three. And so we have these three isotopes of hydrogen, and they have names. The first isotope of hydrogen, hydrogen 1, is referred to as protium. The second isotope of hydrogen, the one that has a neutron in it, one neutron, is referred to as deuterium because it has two particles in the nucleus. It has a mass number of, of two. And the third isotope of hydrogen is referred to as tritium, obviously because it has a mass number of three. It has a total of three particles in the nucleus. One proton, two neutrons for a total of three. Well, remember, isotopes. Atoms of the same element that have different mass numbers. They have the same atomic number, but they have different mass numbers. So let's see how much you understand about isotopes. I'm going to give you a chance to answer a few questions. Here's the first question. It says most atoms exist in nature as isotope. This means that each atom has a the same number of electrons and a different number of protons, b the same number of protons and a different number of neutrons, c a different number of protons and a different number of neutrons, and d the same number of neutrons and a different number of protons. And if you paid attention, you know that the correct answer is 
B? The answer is B. Isotopes have the same element of the same element that have different mass numbers because they have different numbers of neutrons. Here's another question. Which pair of these atoms are isotopes? Here are four pairs of atoms. Look at them carefully and see if you can determine which pair represents isotopes of the same element. All you have to do is look for the for the atoms that have the same number of protons and different numbers of neutrons. And the answer here is pair B. These two atoms each have the same atomic number, but they have different mass numbers. Why? Because they have different numbers of neutrons in the nucleus. And remember, the mass number is the mass of the nucleus. All right, now we're back to hydrogen again. Answer this question. According to the diagram, each atom of this element has what? And if you picked answer A, you were right. Each atom has the same number of protons. One proton. Well, now you understand all you need to know about isotopes and you'll never get isotope mixed up with ion or any other chemistry term again. You done good.